you know, this movie really had a big missed opportunity to reenact a certain scene from a movie in the past. What is it? Let's find out today. The man with the golden gun once again stars Roger Moore as 007, and this time we see Bond sent after the Solex Alligator, a device that can harness the power of the sun, okay? And a man named Scarmanga sends 007 a golden bullet with his name on it at 2MI6, and of course, M decides to keep Bond out of trouble and send him on a different assignments. Basically, he's trying to protect this crazy butt. But Bond decides to go and investigate this anyways. Now what I think about this movie is it's not as good as Live and Let Die. As a matter of fact it was released one year after Live and Let Die. I don't know why it was put in production so quickly because of that movie's success. I, I don't know. That's kind of odd because usually James Bond takes at least two to three years. Four if max to even get the story right so I don't know what happened between that production time and yeah it's kind of a mixed bag and it kind of hurts the movie and you can actually kind of tell because uh, I'm just gonna come right out and say it this movie's kind of boring I know James Bond movies are never boring but for some reason I was kind of bored through several scenes of this movie it's kind of odd and it kind of kind of weird. The acting in the movie though is still top notch. Only problem is, if that's even a problem, Christopher Lee. What's his problem you might ask? He's too damn good. <laughs> that's the problem. He makes Roger Moore second rate in his own movie. How do you make James Bond, how do you out act James Bond in his own fucking movie? I don't know, but Christopher Lee does it well, and I like it, man. I always enjoy Christopher Lee, even in the Star Wars prequels, as Count Dooku. So, yeah, he was another plus about the prequels. But, uh, yeah. Then you also got that little guy in here from, of course, Fantasy Island. And just like I said in the intro, that was a very big missed opportunity. Especially when Bond is in a seaplane and he's coming to land. It, that was a big, very big opportunity to, to say, Look, boss, the play, the play. <laughs> uh, that would have been fucking awesome. That would have been awesome. Now, the action in this movie is pretty good. Am I crazy? <laughs> crazy, uh, southern cousin old JW comes back from the first movie yes he kind of overstays his welcome in this movie especially by about 10 minutes max and uh, I do like this one scene though but it had like this weird cartoonish like sound to it I didn't like it where it goes I didn't, I didn't like that I like the jump I just didn't like that sound with it it made it look sound too cartoonish <laughs> especially in 1974 it was kind of odd to see that type of a thing back in 1974 James Bond movies but now in modern James Bond movies that that little jump was nothing so yeah <laughs> uh, besides you got something similar to that and die another day anyway but we'll get to that next year but uh, yeah so far the movie is entertaining, but it's not as impactful, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, even the Bond girl is kind of forgetful in this movie. You know, she's kind of an airhead in this movie, but okay, she's there for whatever reason, I don't really know. But, yeah. All in all, I'm going to give The Man with the Golden Gun a C+. Plus. It's not as good as the other, the last film, but I still enjoyed the movie. Now, 
I don't know, I don't get all the unanimous hate this movie gets. I mean, it's not a good movie, but it's not a terrible movie. So all the negative reviews I've seen on this movie so far, it kind of doesn't make any sense, really. I've never seen that much hatred for a James Bond movie before, so... Well, Quantum of Solace, everybody seems to hate that, but I love that movie too, so... Let me know what you guys think about The Man with the Golden Gun down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? If you're one of those lucky people who hated it, why do you hate this movie? I mean, it got some stuff weird about it, but I'm not seeing the terrible here. So let me know down below. I'll catch you guys later.